Hey, how's it going, sir? So this is the video for question two, and the type of stress response that I chose was the stress response during a fight. So fights and physical altercations. When arguments and conflicts turn physical, it can be very frightening for the people involved and also for those around the situation. Fights are very unpredictable. Someone may be carrying a weapon and decide to use it. The wrong person may get involved by accident and someone might sustain great bodily injury or possibly even die. For these reasons, our bodies have a physiological reaction in response to dangerous situation involving physical conflict. This response is often referred to as the fight or flight response. So the initial stimulus, so you're at a bar and someone pushes you hard for getting in their way, you now have two options, fight or flight. The response will be, the physiological response will most likely be the same. Um, so the first area in the uh, stress response feedback loop uh, is the monitor receptor, um, which is the sensor that responds to the stimulus. Uh, and this sensor, and the sensors in this case would be your eyes and ears sense the danger and send this information to the amygdala. Uh, and then you have the control and coordinating center. Um, and, the, and there's two here. So the amygdala responsible for emotional processing, process the, in, the sensory input, and then relays this information to the hypothalamus. Uh, and then the hypothalamus acts as the command center of the brain as it communicates with the rest of the body via the autonomic nervous system. It controls involuntary body functions such as breathing, heart rate, and the dilation and constriction of blood vessels. In a fight or flight situation, the hypothalamus stimulates the sympathetic nervous system responsible for the fight or flight um, uh, reaction um, by sending signals through the autonomic nerves to the adrenal glands. Um, and then you have the regulator and effector. Um, and in this case, it will be the adrenal glands, uh, which respond by pumping the hormone epinephrine, otherwise known as adrenaline, through the bloodstream, causing a number of physiological changes to occur. Um, and these changes are listed here. So the heart rate increases the supply of blood to the working muscles, heart, and other vital organs. Airways in the lungs be open wide to take in as much oxygen with each breath. Extra oxygen of the brain equals increased alertness and awareness. Uh, this will give you heightened vision, hearing, and other senses, uh, which will become acutely sharper as a way to, um, you know, have the edge in a fight. Uh, and glucose and fat are released from storage sites to provide the working muscles uh, with a large energy supply. All right, so in a situation where you'll have to run, uh, you know, you'll definitely need a lot of glucose and fat uh, if you want to, if you need to run very fast over a short period of time or also um, over a long distance. And is the stress response uh, in a fight a positive or negative feedback loop? So the physiological response to stress during a physical altercation with another human being would be an example of negative feedback. This is due to the fact that the body is preparing itself to counteract the stimulus. Uh, this way you'll be able to fight better and also escape more effectively. And this is the drawing of the feedback loop. Okay, thanks.